Hi, this is Deborah from Dinglefoot.com, and this week I'm going to show you how to make a card with a paper ribbon on it. This works well when you have a card that you want to make and you don't have any ribbon to match. You can see this one is made from the same pearl paper as I have on my card background here. And I also use some black sparkly embossing powder and of course a stamp with a bird and a branch and you can use a stamp that's already made that way or you could use two separate stamps. Then I have a piece of black paper here for the card that I'm going to show you now. I made the paper just a little bit fancier by punching each edge with a border punch and since this card is pearl I use some stays on ink. It's a solvent ink so it will stamp well on things that usually don't stamp very well. I also have a clear embossing ink pad and the reason I have that is because I want to use a jumbo bread and it's not going to match. I don't have any that match my project so I'm going to make one to match. So I need my embossing heat tool and I also cut two strips of paper that match my card. They're about three and a half inches long so I need two of those and I think that's about all so let's get started. Using my stays on ink, I'm going to ink up my bird and branch stamp. And that's just going to get stamped right on the front of the card. And then as soon as I get that stamped, I'm going to dump my black sparkly embossing powder right over the top. Dump that over the top, pour off the extra, and we're going to heat it to melt it. Give it a little tap to get off the extra, and I'll use a little brush to brush that off, and I'll go ahead and heat it up. Alright, I'll just take my little black piece of paper here and just glue that right on the front of the card right under the bird branch tree branch with the bird on it I should say okay you could pull that down just a little there we go next I'm going to make my bread to match my project so all I do is get my clear embossing pad and my black sparkly embossing powder and all I'm going to do is take this bread and just dip it into that embossing powder get it really nice and wet okay then I'm going to take it and dip it right into my embossing powder tap off the extra in this part you're probably going to want to use some kind of tweezers to hold the prongs of the bread because they get really hot all I do is take my heat tool and melt the powder right on my bread and it will match my project. Okay, we'll let that cool down a few seconds to set it. Okay, so here's my brad. Looks all nice and sparkly, just like my stamped image. So now I'm going to work on my ribbon. Take your two strips of paper, white paper, and fold them in half. And I had pre-folded those so it's easy. Just stick them together, kind of intertwine them if you want to. Now all we're going to do just take a little punch or some kind of paper piercer just stick a hole in the middle our brad goes right through there fold the prongs on the back now we're going to take a pair of scissors and just cut a little upside down V in each edge just like any ribbon you would use Okay. And I'm just going to take the end 
of this was a paper piercing tool. See if I can get it in there. You can leave the ribbon flat too, but I kind of like to puff it up just a little bit. You can use the end of a pencil, whatever you have. And you can adjust the size of this ribbon too. If you would rather have a bigger ribbon, just go ahead and do that. This one's a little bit on the small side. Okay. And then I'm going to take my solvent ink that I had and just kind of dip the edges in it just to give it a little color. You could do this beforehand too, it might make it easier. And I'll do the little ends of the ribbons. Okay, give it a little black around the edges. I'm going to take a Zot and attach that to the front of my card right here. And then I'll take this little tool and just kind of curl the bottoms of the ribbon up a little bit. And I'm just doing the first top layer. Okay. See, adds a little bit of dimension there. And then all I have to do is either a stamp or just use little stickers and put a greeting on the front of my card. And that is all I need to do. So grab the this one's going to say happy birthday. Alright, there we go. All done. I hope you enjoyed this card. Thanks so much for watching.